Good morning. Uh, I'm so excited to talk to you all this morning for a couple reasons. One is just to share my business, what I do, and then also to share a little bit more about myself personally because I don't know very many of you very well. So I am Ann Brousseau, and my business is Ann Brousseau Health and Fitness. And uh, a little bit about me. I am a certified personal trainer, a plant-based nutritionist, a certified yoga instructor, and I'm currently um, studying to be a health coach at a, at a school in New York. Now, more importantly than any of that is that one of my passions in my life are chips and salsa. This is a picture. Yeah. Uh, my husband and I went to Costa Rica when we got married in July for our honeymoon, and uh, I think I had chips probably five times a day, uh, and including this is probably our breakfast meal. And I also love tequila with extra lime. Now, there's no mix in here. This is just a lot of ice and tequila and extra lime. This is what I served at my wedding. I love tequila. So that's two very important things about me. Tequila, salsa, and chips. So that's the most important Sounds thing. Sounds like our next party. <laughs> <laughs> this is only like 845. Uh, I'll get back here. Um, a little bit more about me. This is a picture I took, a screenshot, actually, on Monday. Uh, I was face or Skyping with one of my clients in New York. So I have clients all over the country, um, and as well as clients in Boulder. So we were just catching up about her plan for the week, with having to do with her food and her fitness. So I took that. Uh, that's me in my house. And then these are just other little information about me is that this picture up here of me flexing, uh, if you notice, I had a boob on like what Kate was wearing. Um, and I, uh, I've been a runner my whole life. I ran in college for my college. And uh, I'm super active, like most of us here in Boulder. And this was a, I woke up one morning with a broken foot uh, over Thanksgiving in Vermont. So it was very, very challenging for me personally and professionally. And I never thought about as being a trainer and a yoga instructor how uh, debilitating that would be to be injured. So I trained all of my clients from sitting in a chair and like pointing at them with my uh, crutches. And I was on crutches for about six months. Uh, but what this really helped me do is um, understand the challenges mentally and physically of uh, being injured. It's really hard. And I, uh, from this learning experience, I've become a much better trainer. I have um, a lot of experience, like, so what if your foot's broken? You got the rest of your body to work with, right? So uh, I, I think that really helped me understand that we have a lot of body parts, not just the piece that might be injured. Um, and I, I'm very passionate about uh, eating colorful, fresh foods and smoothies. I don't go a day without my smoothies. Uh, my husband made this good artichoke dip, but uh, my injury led me to swimming. I'm not a swimmer, uh, but I have become one because I uh, had to do something different. And this picture to me is, uh, I started juicing too and I got injured. Uh, that's beet juice, and I thought it kind of looked like an egg. Oh, that juicing. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, not this juice, juicing. Uh, so swimming is just another way of you know moving when injury doesn't have to stop you. So that's been really helpful for me training my clients. <coughs> I love working out. I work out almost every day. And I appreciate feeling strong and fit. And this is a picture of my husband and me. We run a lot of marathons together and uh, love running in the mountains. So this was before the injury. I haven't been able to do that recently. And I love water. If you see, I always have my huge container of water. And this is the number one thing I stress with all my clients before we even talk about nutrition, anything, is you've got to add your water in. Because water does so much for the body in many different ways, but most people that come to see me are really interested in um, weight loss and muscle gain. And that happens a lot faster if you have water, because your body can't metabolize uh, body fat as quickly if it's dehydrated. And also you burn way more calories if your body's hydrated. So, if you leave with anything today, one is that tequila, chips, and salsa are my passions. And uh, so is water. And water, uh, if you want to be healthier, start with water. And I also love sweets and chips and popcorn. So this is a picture. I found this and it just felt like me. Sometimes I just go on these crazy binges. And I'm able to relate to my clients because I'm not the only one that feels like this, that goes through these. And usually for me, it happens late night, especially if I've had a couple too many drinks, right? I pull everything out. Um, so you don't have to be perfect um, I might to get results. Uh, and I really want to I work on that with my clients is if you just ate healthy all the time, 
it would be just so boring. I like to say that, right? So I, I, uh, what I teach is a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. A lot of people right now are like black and white, where they're going on these crazy diets. It's not going to last. It just doesn't last. Um, and so a lot of people that have come to me are on these yo-yo diets, and uh, I just that is something that I do not promote. Um, I promote changing our lifestyle. So who cares if this happens once in a while or once a week or whatever? Is that um, as long as your habits are mostly consistent of healthiness, then you'll get good results. But this usually happens to me when I'm stressed because stress is dessert spelled backwards, right? <laughs> I get stressed, and the first thing I want to do is just this, right? It's just my natural where I go. So I, uh, I've been able to relate to most of my clients pretty well with uh, with this issue. Now. When I say to that, I don't not harp on what, why did you do that, what happened. Uh, I've worked with some trainers that just get so caught up on like, why, why did you let yourself go like that? Who cares? Just get back on track. You know, and I have, for the, like the last month, my workouts have been okay. My food has been heavily based in um, the slide back there. Um, I too have, I can't fit into some of my clothes right now, but I really don't like, it's who cares, just move on, right? I had a great time doing it. And I teach my clients, like, appreciate those times. Don't feel guilty because you're enjoying yourself, right? Just get back on track. So what I do with my clients is I help keep them accountable to what they want, and I think long term, right? Unless somebody has a goal of a month, two months, three months, and then we'll be tighter. But really, it's keeping people accountable. And if you have a bad or a rough couple days, a rough month, whatever it is, I don't let you just fall, like most people say, oh, Ian, if it weren't for you, I just would have thrown in the towel and not cared, right? It's, it's life, like you gotta work with all these obstacles. So I help people keep, I really keep people accountable. And I act as the motivator, <coughs> mentor, and educator. So what I do goes way beyond the exercise, st the standard exercise um, and eating program. I, I'm much more involved in the person's life and uh, help them understand how to have a successful, healthy lifestyle. And I make it fun. This is a client of mine who's been with me for about three years now. Her name is Jenny, and she's um, almost 40. This is where I work in Boulder. It's called Inspire Athletic Movement, and it's a personal training studio. Uh, I am a contract worker there, so you don't have to sign up for a membership at the studio. You work just directly with me, you pay me, which a lot of people appreciate that. Um, so you could be a member at another gym and just see me once a week, twice a week for, um, for programming. Uh, and Jenny has, she came to me after she had her second child and she was a lot bigger than she, she did not want to be that big. So she's lost about 30 pounds with me and recently about 10 pounds and is so strong. I mean this girl can, she's just, she lifts really heavy weights but she says she feels better now than she did when she was in college. Uh, which is so fun to hear and I, that's, I'm all about feeling good on the inside. What, how, what you do, how you feed your body and what, how you move your body. It's really meant to make you feel good, right? Because who cares if you look good if you don't feel good? So she said she's feeling awesome. I teach my clients what works. So about 80% of your physique is made up of what you eat and drink. And then 20% is exercise. And there's so many benefits for exercise that don't have to do with how you look. I like to focus on the effects of exercise on the brain. Um, it actually has a lot more benefits on the brain than it does on the body. That's a whole other talk. but. Um, a lot of, I've had a couple of clients that have gotten off of antidepressant medicine because of working out consistently every day. It doesn't take a lot. This is another thing. I say, just give it 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes. Consistency is your best friend. Uh, I do not want you to go to the gym for two hours every day, whatever it might be. Just get outside for 20 minutes. And when I say that, it's like this look of relief, right? Well, I can do that. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to share some of my clients' stories so you all can have a better idea of... Um, what I do. So this client, this is a meal of one of my clients, and I promote eating clean, lean, and green. This client actually lives in Boulder, and she's been training with a, uh, another uh, a guy here in Boulder for like the last five years. She's a competitive athlete. She's a snowboarder. She's uh, just turned 50. She wins. She's, she's amazing. She's a swimmer, and uh, she wasn't, she wanted to lose about 50 pounds. She worked out obviously every day. She's an amazing uh, athlete, but she came to me because of my reputation of helping women lose weight 
when even though the, everything uh, uh, fitness wise are doing right. So here's a meal. She emails me her meals every day, or not every day, but a lot. Uh, and this is after working with me just a month. She said, I now have people asking me what I'm doing because I look different. I have lost nine pounds. I think it worked out to about two pounds a week. There was enough flexibility that I could manage through it. She said that she knew I was her right coach when I told her to skip the margarita and just drink the tequila because the margarita has so much sugar. I was like, well, just being myself there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I worked out with a trainer over the last three years and the same three girls, and they wanted to know what I'm doing. I love that this has worked when nothing else has for me to finally get my weight down. And she is uh, faster now in her, all her races. It's so fun. And she travels about 70% of her time. Oh no, how much time do I have? Well, <laughs> that's the end of the 10 minutes. <laughs> goes by so fast. Do you, want, do you want to save some time for questions? Yeah, let me just quickly go through. Yeah, five more minutes. Okay. Uh, this is a client that lives in Denver, and uh, well, as well as just online, keeping her accountable to her goals. This is before and uh, after working with me pictures. Um, and she says, this whole testimonial is just about sticking and make sure you're sticking to your workouts, eating the right lean and green foods, and sticking to a plan that can be carried out through your lifestyle. It is a great way to learn how to live healthy and not just jump, be on a jumpstart diet or workout plan, which I've always done. I feel great and I'm thinking differently about how I eat, work out, and plan my day. Thanks, Anne. And she lives in Denver and she's 30. And this is a client of mine in New York City. She emails me every day, every night before she goes to sleep, uh, what she did for her workout. This is a picture of her. I think she was training for a half marathon here, uh, which she had never run before. Uh, and then all these different clean and lean foods, including her, it looks like mimosa for brunch, and a Bloody Mary. Um, so I'm like, well, it's from your garden. That looks pretty clean, right? And then this, is, <laughs> this is my last client here. Uh, oh, this is Amanda's testimonial. She's 35 in New York. For anyone thinking about signing up and are on the edge, do it. You will learn so much about yourself, your body, your health, and your habits and everything. So you can, there's a consistent word of learning, right? And, and I help people stick with it and make it fun. And this is Ellen. She lives in New Jersey. She's in her 50s and uh, was not working out consistently at all. And her eating habits were horrible. And she's lost about 30 pounds working with me. And now it's going to go do a walk in Spain for five weeks. I don't know what it is. But uh, she's working out in her home gym there. Thumbs up that she got it done. And she said, I have been struggling for quite a while to lose weight and get healthy. You name it, I tried it. It wasn't until I joined Anne online that I got what I needed to get done. I've lost 12 pounds. But the best part is that it feels like a life change and not a diet. Do it. So in summary, I customize programs for all of my clients. If somebody was like, I'm not going to give up drinking, uh, but I, these are my goals, I say, okay, let's do it. Or if somebody doesn't drink and they love to eat really fatty foods, I say, okay, well, I help people find ways to live the lifestyle they want and reach their goals. I'm really good at that. I'm a mentor, motivator, and educator. I offer online and in-person uh, uh, coaching and groups here in Boulder and individual. Uh, sessions and I primarily work with women 30 to 60 however I have five girls right now that are in their 20s that I'm working with and also have clients uh, one of my clients is 80 and I have worked with men um, and I lastly I create sustainable plans that are easy to follow like y'all everybody is saying you know I can do this it's, I, it's really not that hard it's just learning how to shift the pieces of the puzzle around so this is me with two of my clients. Thumbs up, early morning workout. You can see it's still dark out there. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, any questions that you all have for me, please let me know. Yeah. I just have a comment because I've never heard someone that is a trainer be so flexible with not, you have to do it this one way. And I appreciate that. Because that actually, I I wouldn't go in one because I'm like, I'm going to change too much, but I don't want to change. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, well, can you tell me what you want to do, and we'll make it happen. Yeah. So good. Thank you for that feedback. Yeah. Here's something you probably know. I was uh, going to my normal source for undiluted news. That would be Fox News one morning. And um, I had these doctors on there, both of whom were saying that the more your body grows, the more your brain shrinks. And they said that's probably what happened to dinosaurs. Big bodies, little brains. Really? Well, that went right to the core of what my basic insecurities were. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard that yet. There is out like, there. Is out yeah. there. <laughs> Anybody else? Questions? Feedback? Yeah? Are you a big proponent of any of the new concepts?
balance of sugar is bad, meat is bad. I think it, it depends on the body is bad or not really. Paleo. Um, it depends on the. I, I think I really do believe that every it's called bio individuality. That every human is very different. For me, I eat a plant based diet, and I don't have any clients that are strictly plant based. Um, most of my clients now have changed to a majority of eating fruits and vegetables and putting whatever proteins they want with that. But um, I, it, it depends on the client. If you try it and it works for you, I'll support that. Does that make sense? I just don't think that things are not so black and white as our country likes to say they are. Yeah. Anybody else? No? Well, thank you so much. Yes? Great. What do you think of cleanses? Again, well, what I always say, what's your goal? Because a lot of my clients right now, you know, they want to do their cleanses. What's your goal? Because most people's goal, really, deep down, even if they don't say it, is to lose weight. But cleanses, I find with a lot of clients, they binge before and then binge right after. So what are you doing? You're just like screwing up your metabolism, right? But if your goal is to just break your sugar habit, you don't want to, you know, you've been drinking a lot, eating a lot, and you want to just feel better, it's like a jump start, I say go for it. Um, I personally don't do cleanses because I'm a little scared of myself if I don't eat. I eat like every two or three hours. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think, you know, again, it depends on your goals and uh, what your expectations are out of it. Thanks, Anne. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys.